about to start over now and I just begun the video okay as you can see I've got my tufting cloth set up on my tufting frame I've got my image projected onto it uh, I did this work inside of Adobe Illustrator always turn your image around flip it and it'll be perfect because it comes out the other side of the tufting cloth as you can see I've got my uh, image onto the frame and I'm about to start tufting with this tufting gun here really great gun uh, there it is as you can see okay look I got this thing off of Amazon for like a hundred and fifteen bucks not a bad deal if I were you you know do whatever you want if you want to spend three or four hundred dollars on a tufting gun by one of these name brand websites go ahead and do it you can get the same thing for a hundred bucks save yourself some money okay so that was uh pretty good I did the eyebrows on the, on the little guy there and then now I have turned it around and trimmed it blew it off a little bit and now I'm back at it I'm working on the eyes here as you can see and it looks pretty good okay <laughs> it's silly okay all right so th the deal with this is if you'll see right here you'll see the lines where I've got the that are that are there that's there for a reason somebody asked me the other day well why do you put lines between your uh, yarn there well you're gonna need to do that because I've done one before where I put the lines exactly next to each other and trust me is not good because it's so much yarn packed in that little bit of space especially if you do a doubling up like I do I put two pieces of yarn inside the gun when I'm working on it and so it's feeding a lot of yarn inside that space so you do want to put a little bit of space probably an eighth of an inch or a, like you know a, a quarter of an inch on space between your lines and then that way you're going to be able to have really good density on the other side and not be too much okay so I'm blowing through this thing right here I've got my black eyebrows I've got my blue eyes working on the different shades of green for the body and the skin and it's going pretty good things are going great I'm feeding that yarn through there like nobody's business um, and it's going really good I'm working on the cat now on the collar and the eyes and the, the little meow mouth for the cat and I'm working on my signature there uh, and it's and it's going pretty good that's one of the things I'm going to be doing with my rugs and my uh, artwork. I'm going to be including uh, my signature on all the pieces. I just think it does it. I think it personalizes it as an artist. I want to have my name on my work. You know, it's mine. I'm doing original work. I'm not really planning on copying anybody or doing any kind of work that doesn't belong to me. I'm not going to be doing Pokemon stuff or. Uh, or artwork from another artist you know I'm gonna be making this stuff all on my own so I think that goes without saying I should be doing that you know and there's nothing wrong with that if you want to do somebody else's copyrighted work or intellectual property go for it I hope it works out for you you know that's cool uh, it's all good everybody has to make that decision for themselves I you know for themselves I don't want to be sued by somebody I don't want to years later somebody come back and say oh I took your you took my artwork or blah 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 or oh now you owe me all this money you know because that happens you know somebody takes your work you know you have every right to be compensated for that because you're the one that put the hard work in there to create it okay so now I'm over here I'm on got the orange got the yellow in the background it's zipping along going really good now this time lapse I really like doing a time lapse like this um, you know I'm a huge fan of everybody on here that's doing videos like this I have learned so much and when I was trying to get into this let me tell you this is a resource that you can't beat I mean YouTube is amazing for learning things learning how learning new techniques as you're gonna see here with my work uh, you're gonna see what I'm doing and uh, I hope it will help you in your journey of tufting or creating art and everything like that because it, it really is a, a learning experience and everybody has to take that journey on their own but if you can learn from other people 
why not man go for it learn it watch it let's watch these videos oh if you create videos about tufting i promise you i'm gonna be watching them and i'm gonna like them and i hope you'll like my videos too okay so where i got my bowl of ramen there got my noodles got my cat completed now i'm trying to finish up that face and that's looking good on that side of the face i'm going with a darker green color which is kind of neat and then I'm going to come in and lay in that highlight, which is on the other side of the mouth. Okay, I'm laying in those chopsticks. Looking good. Laying in the green that's around the star that's above his head. Looking good. Now I'm going to do the outer ring, the green outer ring. And as you can see, I'm pulling off those little... Uh, shards of yarn as I go I just like to kind of clean as I go I like to keep a tidy rug going you know I, I something I thought about doing I should, probably should start trimming a little bit more along the way I think a lot of people do that now you know they'll do a part of a color or a section and then they'll take their scissors and go around the other side and sort of trim it up a little bit planning on also setting up a camera on the other side so you'll be able to see on the other side of the rug as well what i'm doing this is the back side of the rug uh as you're gonna as you see there uh and all that stuff is spitting out on the other side the full rug the full untrimmed version of the rug and you're gonna see here in a little bit i'm gonna turn this thing around when i finish i'm almost done yeah, I'm done right there. Okay, that's great. Uh, looks good. Okay, here's the other side of the rug. I'm doing a quick once-over trim with my handy uh, sheep shears or shears. I've got this little platform here that's going to like make sure it stays flat. I uh, got this for like 20 bucks off of Amazon. This thing right here is magic. It's like a shear. $55 off Amazon. No reason to spend $100 on this, people, because you don't have to. Not unless you just want to. You're getting some kind of a discount code. Great. You're probably going to pay exactly <laughs> what I've just paid. But look, do what you do. What you got to do. It's all good. Okay. So look, if you notice, I got like a breather, a breather on for this. Uh, it is vital that you wear that. If you don't wear that, you're basically breathing in microscopic yarn fibers into your lungs and into your nose and your body that's not healthy that's really really not good for you to be doing that okay so consider that i got that thing down at uh what is it uh harbor freight for 25 dollars. you can buy those breathable things and they're really good and as you can see i'm just kind of going through here i'm trimming it up before i get it before i take it off of the loom as you say uh, or off of the back off of the uh, the frame vacuuming it off kind of making it clean as possible flipping it around here okay now this is really cool now this is the glue I don't have it with me but it's Roberts uh, Roberts 6700 I believe that's the name of this glue uh, I think a gallon of it's like $25 or $30 off of Amazon I know I'm an Amazon <laughs> nut but hey where else are you gonna buy them if you buy it somewhere else well you can get it at Lowe's I guess and there's all kinds of different types of glue that you can buy but as you can see I'm zipping through here uh, on this time lapse covering it completely you're gonna see in just a second I'm gonna put a glove on my hands and I'm going to smear that in now that's really important that you smear that glue in you get it in all those cracks and crevices get it all up in that yarn because that's the thing that's going to be holding this yarn into place. If you don't have that, there you go. There are the gloves. Now, if you don't know, here I am cutting it out. This is going really quick. Okay, so I cut it out. And now I'm going to be sizing this thing for the backing. Now, this backing here is like a, like a material, like a really thick material. And I just got it sized. Now, this, I'm actually taking some glue and I've cut it and I'm taking the pieces and slicing them that way they fit and then I'm gluing them down into the back of it okay and I'm using that glue and I got a piece of cardboard there where I'm trying to prevent the glue from getting on the fibers which are going to be on the front of the rug and I'm just kind of making my way around doing that and if you'll notice I got the cardboard there kind of shielding it a little bit as it go but the uh, the backing I'm using I'm not using a felt I'm not really a big fan of the felt 
I don't like the felt because it just collects so much dirt and dust. And you may say, well, my God, you must have a bunch of dirt and dirt, dust and dirt wherever you are. But yeah, I mean, it, it, kind of, it collects it and it's real hard to get it loose. But this here, it's almost like a furniture fabric, like, you know, that would be on a furniture, like a cloth material. It's really thick and sturdy and it's got some weight to it. And look, I'm just gluing that down, folding it over, spraying it, folding it down onto the glue. And then I'm going to fold up the other side, spray it, put glue down on the other side and then spray that glue on there and that glue that's that gorilla glue i think you can get it for like nine dollars a bottle i think i got mine from joann's or somewhere like that but you can get it anywhere you can get it at walmart lowe's amazon and now as you can see i'm trimming off this edge getting that where it's not going to be overlapping along the outside edge as you can see and that's really just kind of a process that you're going to see there too you're going to have to do that because you don't want it sticking out looking ugly okay so I'm doing a little bit of a trim up right here uh, just kind of fine-tuning everything getting those yarn colors separated getting the parts of the image separated from the other parts and it's uh, doing this is gonna it's just gonna make it look better and you're gonna want to do that now you may have to go back in and trim this thing up again if you uh, if it's too long um, but it is that is this is a time-consuming part of it but it's a very rewarding part of it and it's very rewarding to see that yarn kind of come into place and uh, and it starts to really look good and really refined once you kind of do that and I want to talk to you about scissors real quick I may be using these these are kind of like your standard uh, cloth scissors you've also got these kind of scissors here where these are really good a lot of people recommend these because you don't have to put your fingers in the holes you can just take your whole hand and like just take your whole hand and squeeze it which is kind of nice and those those are really great i'm going to add all this stuff up here in a little bit and kind of show you the cost of all this stuff to get into this it does cost a little bit to get into it but look you don't you can cut corners and you can save a lot of money and um it really it will be worth it and rewarding okay here's some more scissors here these are these little bitty baby scissors here you can get in there and just you can hear that yeah you can get in there and do some really good stuff with it but you also got to have a vacuum cleaner with some kind of a suction thing on there because you create quite a mess with this create really a lot of yarn fibers and if you have a light kind of shining behind you, you can see all those fibers in the air so it really pays to wear a respirator or some kind of air filter whenever you're doing this because if you don't you can breathe that in and that could be really really bad okay <laughs> that goes without saying you know you, you want to be safe and you want to um, make sure you're not harming yourself when you're doing this okay it's, it's coming along good uh, this is a very time-consuming part of it uh, but very necessary you got to do this okay so as you can I'm just gonna recap so what I've done is cut it off I glued the backing onto it now I'm doing some final trimming some trimming up making it look good and uh, you're gonna see here in just a minute I'm gonna start on my whip stitch now the whip stitch is really great because it's gonna give you like a refined edge along the border of your rug now some people don't do that a lot of people I've, I've been watching a bunch of videos people working in this medium and you're gonna see I mean you're gonna see a lot of people don't even do this they just basically refine it glue it down trim it up and then they ship those babies out um, but you know I'm looking for a little bit more refined more uh, custom edge to this and uh, so that's the reason why I went that route by doing this oh yeah I'm trimming up those chopsticks getting that color to separate look really good it's looking good there okay now. cats I tell you okay yeah very good vacuuming it off vacuum all that stuff off of there get it cleaned up now look, if I can help in any way, let me know. I'm just kind of presenting my art. Just oh, here we go with a whip stitch. Okay, yeah, this is cool. Now, I, now I that fabric that I was using, it's really thick. Okay, so when I say thick, I mean I couldn't even stick a needle through it. That's how thick it is. 
So I got these big giant honking needles and I uh, got me a nail and a hammer and nail and just kind of created like holes all the way around this rug to be able to do that whip stitch. And as you can see there, it's not hard to do, it's super easy to do. And like the whip stitch is gonna give it more of a, a refined look. You're not gonna have those rough edges. You're gonna have that uh, looping material, uh, looping yarn that goes all the way through it and all the way around. And it's gonna add some sturdiness to it and just kind of add another uh, flavor you know, to it. If you wanna do that, I seen somebody do it and I was like, dude, I gotta do that because that looks good. Uh, you know, you have people that say, oh, you got to send it off somewhere and have somebody do it professionally. You don't have to do that. You can do it yourself if you want to do it. You know, if you probably, if you use a, a lighter material that's not so thick, you may not do the hammering part of it. You may not have to do that. But this, that material, I really like it. It's like an upholstery material. And I'm like, you know, dude, that's the way to go. So that's what I did on this. Went all the way around. It's very time consuming to do that part of it. Um, but you know, I'm doing these as one-offs. I'm not planning on doing a production line. I'm planning on doing individual works of art, you know, that can be sold and collected uh, to the people that collect my artwork. Okay, so this is the final piece. I think it turned out really good. I hope you like it. I know I like it. I think it looks great. But I started an illustrator and went all the way uh, through the process to make it, uh, projected it onto the thing onto the the background onto the tufting material and then went from there all the way through i signed it dated it it's ready to go and uh we'll see where it ends up and uh, i hope you like this video thank you so much for viewing and joining joining me here today i'm going to be making more videos i hope you'll watch them i hope you'll like them and i hope you'll subscribe to my channel uh you know and uh if you reach out to me show me some love or whatever you know or make a comment i'll reply to you and uh, i hope you have a great day and i hope i hope you get into this and i hope you're having fun doing it if you are doing it and uh whatever process you use you know i think that's awesome um i'm just sharing some of my things that i've learned along the way and um happy tufting okay <laughs> all right